A 40-year-old grandfather is facing drug and child abuse charges in southeastern New Mexico. Police say it's because of what investigators found in his one-year-old grandson's hair. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in Roswell with the story. Kim detectives say lab test results confirmed that the toddler had meth in his system after police found what appears to be a family drug operation. 40-year-old Francisco Madrid is now in custody on drug and child abuse charges. More than two months after, a drug investigation led police to his home in the 300 block of Turkey Track Street in Roswell. Narcotics agents searched the house in August and found several people and a one-year-old inside. It was very dirty, very cluttered, not a suitable home or a place for a one-year-old to be. Police say they also found drug paraphernalia. The Children, Youth and Families Department was called and took the one-year-old and his 17-year-old mother in custody. They also tested hair follicles on the toddler after hearing what the young mom told police. The mother did admit that sometimes other adults would smoke around the child and sometimes she would take that child outside so it wouldn't be around the smoke. In September, lab results came back. The toddler tested positive for meth. Although police say it's unclear exactly how the child consumed the drug. I don't know how much was in the air or if the child actually possibly came into contact with it while crawling around on the floor or anything like that. I'm not sure how it was um, fully ingested into the system. The 17 year old mom also told police she would sell meth sometimes to quote buy diapers and milk for her son and that the drug transactions would occur at her father Francisco Madrid's home where she said she stays three to four times a week. In the initial search Madrid admitted he used meth but it wasn't until after lab results came in that police were able to charge him with two counts of felony level child abuse. He was found Friday and arrested. Both of them are, are young to be dealing with any types of drugs. It is um, a disturbing matter. Police say any trace of meth in a child's system is dangerous, but that it's unclear exactly how it has affected this little boy medically. Online medical data shows the amount of meth found in the child's system is consistent with someone who would use meth on a daily basis. Kim, back to you. Thanks, Gabrielle. Now, CYFD officials were not available for comment today. According to police, the child's 17-year-old mom was also taken into their custody. She could face charges, too.